Hi there, booktube! My name is Christina and yes, I'm again makeupless because, well, I'm filming during my free time and I don't want to wear any makeup these days because when I will start working again, I will have to wear it every day. So now I'm just relaxing, so I hope that you don't mind, but as always, we're here for the books and not for the looks. So let me get right to the theme of this video. Today I'm doing the same thing that I've done last year and the previous year before, because I'm going through all of the series that I've somehow read this year, in order to see how many of those I finished or started, or just at what point I am with series because, well, if you're a hardcore reader, then you know the struggle. You start so many of them, but then you never finish them. So, if you're one of those people, then follow me through this journey because I will tell you everything, probably more than you want to know, and I will be checking on my laptop. So, let's start with the very first group, and these are the series I'm going on with, which means that I started them before 2019, and I'm still going on, so it's going on for a long time. The very first is Io non la principessa scarlatta, I've been reading this manga for two years at this point, it's still going on in Japan, so I'm slowly going with the flow. The second one is Chubaki Cho Lonely Planet, I started it, again two years ago, and I hoped to finish it in 2019, but unfortunately I still miss one issue that comes out probably next month, I hope, to finish it finally. Then we have The Lumberjanes, a graphic novel that I started, went on, and for whatever reason stopped and not finished, so I hope to finish it soon. I'm not even sure if it's completely finished graphic novel, or if it's still going on, but we will see. And then The Remnant Chronicles, I miss one book and one novella, and I hope to finish it, no, I will finish it in 2019, so I will go like with one book per year in three years, it's too long for this YA, but well, that's life. And the second group is series I finished that I started previously, so that I started before 2019 and that I finally finished. And those are The Rose and the Dagger, so the duology, The Raven Cycle, I finally finished it this year, The Paper Gods Trilogy, and The Practical Magic Duology. Then I have just one series that I started and finished in 2019, well, it's already something except for the fact that those are novellas, so, well, that's much easier to finish in one year, and it was Binti, the trilogy. Then the next group is that of series that I started in 2019 and dropped, or started before 2019 and just reached a point at which I don't care anymore and I don't want to go on with. So, I have City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, I know, a very well-loved middle grade book, but it just wasn't for me, I wasn't interested enough to pick the next one, so I don't think that I will ever go on with that one. Then we have Artemis Fall that I tried to reread, I liked the first book, but it's too, I don't know, too childish for me right now, it didn't make me smile, it didn't make me laugh, so I think that I will pass and I won't read the next books. Then we have Sleeping Giants, and I've read the first, the second, all of the short stories in the middle, and I just can't care less for the third one. I tried, I gave it a try, but unfortunately I don't like the characters that are in the third book and the point at which we are. I don't like the little girl who's not so little anymore, so nope, I stopped there, so Sleeping Giants, over for me. And then we have Beautiful Broken Things, and you know I unhold the book, and I discovered that it's a duology, I believe it will be only a duology, I've only read the first one, it was a likeable experience, but nothing that touched me to the point that I need to read the sequel. And then Le Dernier Jardin by Lorenzo Stefano, De Stefano, and it's 
fever with her, whatever in English, and they won't go on. It's just um, a YA kind of dystopic kind of fantasy. Not really sit in that genre anymore, so I won't go on with that one. And finally, we have the series that I started in 2019, so now I have to go on with, I hope that I will go on with all of them. The first one is Le Fiancé de l'Hiver, or, or the Le Pars Miroir, or um, how is it even called? In English at this point, well, this book, and I'm currently starting to read the second volume, so I will definitely go on with that one for now. The second series is Nevermore. I own the second book, I just have to start and read it because I enjoyed the read. I hope that I will love the second one. Then I have Strange the Dreamer, that's a duology. I already have the second one, so no excuses. I hope to read it in 2020 because. Well, it's a duology. I can manage and read one book to finish a series, finally. Then, Anne of Green Gables, that's the one with a huge question mark, because it's a series, and it's quite a long one. But I'm not sure that I want to read it, because I was very satisfied with the first book, and I don't know if I want to go on. Maybe the next ones are not as good and I won't enjoy the experience anymore. So if you've read Anne of Green Gables, please let me know down below your opinions if I have to go on or if it's okay to stop here and consider it a standalone forever. Then I have a manga series that's Children of Wales and this is a beautiful, beautiful manga that's still going on in Japan, so I'm slowly going through it. Then I have a lovely cheesy contemporary, like YA, I believe, and yeah, it's definitely YA, and it's Bookish Boyfriend, I've read the first one, it made me laugh, it made me smile, so I hope that the second one will be worth it. Next is a graphic novel and it's monstrous, I read the first issue and there are like at least two more, I'm not very sure about it because it's beautiful, but the story... I don't know, I don't feel the need to go on with it and to read it, not because the first volume ends on a satisfying point, it's just that, I don't know, I'm not very attracted to it anymore for whatever reason, but the illustrations are on point and very, very great. Then I have, again, a question mark, it's Wildwood Dancing, and I don't like the first book, but I already own the second one, which ends this duology. So probably I will read it because I already own it, but that's a lesson for me not to buy sequels if you're not sure about the first book. And the very last one is Truly Devious. I've listened to the first book, now I may listen to the second one, but I'm very, very afraid because I've heard not so good things about that book. So who knows if I will enjoy it. I don't want to spend my time reading something that I don't like, even listening to something that I don't like, of course. So, fingers crossed, I won't be too bothered with it and I will go through it because a lot of people tell that it's just a filler book, kinda, so we will see. And this is the overview of my 2019 as far as series are concerned. So, at the end, I have to tell you that I'm not very satisfied because I started much more series than the ones that I finished. So, a goal for me will definitely be to try and finish more because I have to, because I started and I know that I need to know how they end. Ah, that's a real struggle, so yeah, that's a lovely struggle to have, actually. <laughs> if only it was the only struggle in life. But yeah, I will try my best and finish more this year. But we will see at the end of 2020 with, I hope, kind of the same video. And at that point you will know if I failed again for the third year in a row or not. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if you, are, if you still have, like, those long-going series that you've not finished yet, that you started like years ago and they are still there. You want to read them, but you never got to them for no reason. <laughs> Just let me know. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye!
Ciao!